Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. Are you looking for information related to Disney World's Contemporary Resort? Well, look no further than today's video because we are talking all about the Contemporary Resort today. Now I'm not long-winded, so this is gonna be short, sweet, and to the point. Using my experience from staying at the Contemporary many times, as well as almost every other Disney World Resort, the only ones I haven't stayed at are All Star Sports and Old Key West. So using this experience, I'm gonna show you how the Contemporary stacks up against all the other resorts. We'll be going over my top five cons of this resort and why it may not be for you, and the top seven pros here that make this resort special. I wanted to try to keep it to the top five pros, but there's just a couple extra things in there that I couldn't leave out. So let's get going and talk all things contemporary. Let's get started with all of the cons first. So I'm gonna start with number five, which would be the least con, you know, the con that isn't as bad as all the others per se, and I'll go all the way up to the number one, what I think is the number one con of the resort. And then we're gonna end with all the pros. So let's start with the number fifth con. What would be the price? So this is a deluxe resort, uh, but it is pretty expensive. Even for the garden wing, which is completely separate from the main tower, those rooms are at least in the low 400s all the way up to even more when you start to get a better view, and that's with the annual pass discount. So those rooms are pretty expensive, but then the main tower rooms start at least around 500 and something dollars and go up up, up from there. So you're gonna spend a lot of money if you wanna stay at this resort. And the club level is one of the most expensive as well. It used to not be one of the most expensive and I don't know what happened, but all the club level prices have been increased and with that increase, the contemporary prices have gone up even more than some of the others. Our number four con is that it's very busy. Even with people who aren't staying at the resort, you have a lot of things going on at this resort. There's Chef Mickey's, there's California Grill, a lot of dining options. The monorail runs right through it. So you have a lot of people who are going there, you know, just to shop or to eat or just because they wanna break off the monorail for a little while. So it can get really busy in there. Along the same line would be my number three, which is it's noisy. So as soon as you leave your room, you hear Chef Mickey's, you hear the monorail, you hear all the people because your rooms are on the side and all the noise is kind of funneled up into the outside of your rooms. Saying that, I, I never heard anything inside the room, but outside, right outside your door, it's real busy and bustly. Number two is the parking. The parking for the contempt for the main tower side is very sparse and you've got people, like I said, coming in who aren't staying there for dining reservations and they're parking there too and it just makes that parking so much more crowded and hard to obtain. The Bay Lake side usually has much more parking. That's the DVC side, Bay Lake Tower, but the main tower parking is usually full and it's really hard to try to get a spot. The number one con at the Contemporary Resort for us are the elevators. Oh, they are always crowded. You have to wait a long time. One elevator in the evening is dedicated only to California Grill, so that elevator will never work in the evening, and it's only for California Grill people. So that just puts more pressure on all the other elevators. So it's a big, every time I've stayed there, no matter what time of year, the elevators are an issue. You have to wait a while, and some of them, like I said, don't work all the time. They're dedicated to other areas. That being said, if you're trying to get from, say, the pool to the fourth floor, you can take the escalators, you can take a small set of stairs outside, or you can take the escalator inside. Well, it's not a small set of stairs. It's a lot of stairs on the outside to get to the second floor. And then from there, it goes up to the fourth floor. So if you're trying to get anywhere from four and below, I would suggest using the escalators. It'll just be a lot quicker and save you some time. They do have stairs in the building, but they're all the way at the end. So you need to walk, you know, the rooms are centrally located. Um, unless you have a room really close to the stairs, that would probably be beneficial. But if you're up on like, the 10th floor, you know, that's a lot of stairs. So just keep that in mind. The elevators 
are a big deal and they're tough, you know, they're very tough. And especially if you have a stroller or mobility issues and you really need the elevators, you're gonna have to wait on them all the time, even to go, you know, from the first or second floor to the fourth floor. All right, let's talk about all the pros at the Contemporary Resort. So there were seven I could come up with. I could come up with a few more, but the top seven, there were a couple on there. I, I just felt like I couldn't leave off. So let's get started. So the Contemporary Resort is also a convention center. So there is a lot of seating and areas that you can just relax in the air conditioning on the um, fourth floor and the third floor, I believe it is where you can just, there's a lot of lounging sofas and chairs and tables. And it's a really nice place like to grab a snack and just sit and eat in the nice cool air conditioning. Plenty of room, there's a big long hallway so you don't feel cramped. And that's very nice on these really hot days where you want a place just to sit and relax for just a few minutes, you know, to get away from the sun. So that's a nice pro. So the Contemporary also is a DVC resort and they have a community hall over in Bay Lake Tower that is available for everyone who is staying there. So the community hall is really nice. They have tons of arts and crafts. They have a movie playing all the time. They have toys. There's outdoor games. There's ping pong, um, pool or billiards. There's um, there were a couple other games out there that you could play. They have activities, you know, the resort activities over there, such as Mickey tie-dye and crafts. So it's a really great community hall. It's one of the nicer ones. My number five pro is that it has the best club level, in my opinion, on Disney property, which is the Tower Club on the 14th floor. Now they've made it a little more difficult to reserve this one and I explained that in some of my other club level videos. So if you're interested in club level, please check out the other videos on this channel. I do a lot of club level videos and including the Tower Club, which is my favorite. So check those videos out while I'm mentioning the other videos. Also, if you like this kind of content, if you would please like and subscribe to the channel. We are going to the Disney's Polynesian Resort tomorrow. So excited. We haven't been there in over a year and we're actually gonna get to stay three nights in a Waterview Club level room, which I booked on a bounce back offer and they gave me a great deal. So always look at those bounce back offers and see what they have. So anyway, that those videos will be coming up, so please like and subscribe. Number four is there are great dining options available there at the Contemporary. You have California Grill, which is a signature dining restaurant. It's very expensive, but very good. So it's a fixed menu. You pay $89 per adult for a three course meal. That doesn't include any alcoholic beverages if you would like that with your meal. So it can get pricey, but it's very good. We were there on, the, on, the, on our last trip, which was just last week. We only stayed for one night, but we did eat there and the food was really good. And we had a great server, Oliver. Shout out to cast member Oliver. As well as California Grill, they have Chef Mickey's. Chef Mickey's is a character meal, it's okay. We, we did it for breakfast and thought it was okay. We did it for dinner a couple years ago, thought the same thing. We just thought it was average. They also have Contempo Cafe, which is their quick service. Very good quick service meal. Some great pastries there and cupcakes and things like that. When we were just there, I got a churro cookie and I'll show it to you right here. It was, I was very impressed. It was good. It was like a snickerdoodle kind of because it had all that cinnamon and I ate the whole thing and it was like, you know, that big. So it was great. They also have Steakhouse 71, which is a sit-down restaurant. And we have only eaten there for breakfast. The breakfast was really good. I've never tried their dinner, or if you guys have, please let me know how you liked it. But that's another dining option, which is great. Then outside you have the Sandbar Cove, which is the pool bar and kind of quick service place that has some sandwiches. They have Mickey pretzel with cheese, which is Wonderful, Kate always wants that, I like them too. And they're not at every resort, so it's very nice that they have that one there. And they also, around the corner, have a bar area where they can do specialty cocktails, beer and wine and all that stuff. So that's another food option outside. Also outside Chef Mickey's, they have a lounge. Never been there, never tried any of their cocktails, but it's there. 
Our number three pro at the Contemporary Resort is the theming of the rooms. They are themed after the Incredibles. It was done a few years ago and they did a great job. They are so thorough and detailed. They did a lot of little things to really get that theming right on point. So kudos to them for doing that. The rooms are very nice. The bathrooms, I really like the bathrooms. The finishes are shiny and just look elegant, which are nice. So if you're looking for some good theming, I suggest those rooms. I've done a couple room tours. Again, check out those videos if you're interested. My number two pro would be the monorail. So this is a monorail station. The monorail literally runs right through the middle of the resort. So it goes straight from Magic Kingdom to you. If you've been at Magic Kingdom for a long time and you know, it's just really nice to hop on that monorail and come right over. Or if you need to take the monorail, it's right there at your resort, just hop on there. If you wanna to go to Epcot, go to the TTC, hop on the Epcot one and you're good to go. So it's very convenient to have the monorail. And the number one pro at the Contemporary Resort would be that you can walk to Magic Kingdom. I mean, you're right there, so close. You wanna go over there? It's a really quick walk. Just get your, st get your things. You go through security over there as well, so you don't have to go through the main security at the gates, which can get backed up at times. You have your own security right there. Go through security, make the nice, pleasant walk, and you're right there. It's so convenient. When we had a Christmas party, that we were going to. I booked in the garden wing over there specifically because I wanted to be able to walk over there and walk back without having to worry about transportation because we all know that can take upwards of 30 minutes if not more just to get one way where you're going. So it's very nice to just be able to walk over there. I mean, it's about a 10 minute walk at most. It's really close, very convenient. That is the number one reason that I usually book the Contemporary Resort is when I want to go to Magic Kingdom and get there quickly. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please stay tuned for more videos coming up to the Polynesian tomorrow. We are also going to the Riviera Resort and doing Wilderness Lodge Club level as well coming up. So please stay tuned to the channel. I thank you guys for watching.